Hello everybody, welcome here back to my channel and happy new year. It is 2020 and so I thought on theme with everybody else planning their goals and inspiring themselves and lifting them up for the new year, I thought I would chat about um, my planning system and how I get organized on a day to day basis. I love these videos, they're a fan favorite of mine and I just am someone in particular that loves getting organized. I love writing things down, making notes, making lists, and just like feeling inspired. I love the new year. Personally, I love setting goals and resolutions and just setting myself up for a new year and like a clean slate. It really does make me excited and bring so much life to me. So we're in my office. I have uh, a cup of coffee, which I actually feel like I made the most stunning coffee. <laughs> um, so I'm very happy about that. But yeah, it's just like a cozy day. So I thought I would like bring you guys in. We'll chat about my organization, how I do things, and hopefully give some ideas to you. So if this is something that you think you'd enjoy, keep on watching. And if you do, definitely give it lots of love. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. I would love to have you here. And let's get organized. I think with any organization video, it's important just to like disclaim that my process has changed so many times. I've always been someone that writes in a planner. Uh, for me, it works the best, but I also incorporated programs onto my computer to help me get organized. Me and Sebastian have a shared one. Like, you just have to find what works for you and that may change from year to year or month to month or whatever it is when you incorporate maybe a partner or something like that. Things have to change. But um, yeah, it's important to do what's best for you. And I found that this is just what works for me. So when it comes to like my journaling, and how I do it. I know bullet journaling is like 100% the most popular thing out there and I personally love watching those videos. I could honestly stay on YouTube for like two hours and watch people write the word August with like gorgeous flowers and pretty fonts and pens and that's something like if that's your vibe 100% run with it because if that was mine I would cherish that and love it so much but it just really isn't how I work and I also just can't be bothered <laughs> to like draw it out. So I like to find ones and also I feel like bullet journaling, all of the journals are just very like minimal and I don't know, which I think is cute, but like I love like fun prints. So if you know like a bullet journal that has a fun outside, link it down below because I would love to like get into it, but I need a cute notepad. So this is the one that I got. It just says Busy Bee 2020 and I loved all of like the gold foil bees. I just think it's so cute. I got it at TJ Maxx. I always find good ones there. I love them. So um, yeah, that is the one that I chose and it just, it works for me. It's like already like pre-filled with things. I'll talk about some of the things that are important to me and things that like I always look for, um, things that I like to skip out, all of that stuff. So these are some of the tools that I use. I love the Sharpie pen. This is like number one pen that I use. I love like the nice fine tip that it has. It just writes beautifully and um, yeah, so that's like always a staple. I refuse to pretty much write with anything else. And then I have a couple of highlighters. Um, I like to kind of keep them in the same color scheme, but different because I will highlight. Um, I don't highlight a lot on my planner. I just highlight like certain things. That's why three is just like enough for me. Um, so those are the tools that I use. And now we can kind of dive into the planner. It has like a yearly view, which is very important to me. Um, I like having them split up like monthly and weekly, but it's very important that I have like an overview month because this is where I plan kind of the whole year at a glance. I love being able just to open the first page and see like what's going on in June and September and whatever. Um, so yeah, that's very important to me and I like the, the way that this one was just set out. Um, So this is what it will kind of look like once it's all filled out. These are just like all trips basically. I don't put any appointments because I'll put that into the monthly um, calendar. The yearly one is just all of our trips. So we have one in February, we have one in March. Um, in March I don't really know how long it's going to be so I'll just do the two, three days that I know that we will definitely be there and then I can add whatever. Um, and then. That's kind of it, that's all we have planned for, but throughout the months and throughout the year, I'll just add more 
um, dots to know that like we have trips coming up or things planned. I know that I, we have something planned for the summer, but it's not like we don't have tickets or anything. So I'm not going to put that in just in case it moves. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'll do with the first page, just all of our trips um, and things to sort of plan for that way. So the next page, we have a page for important dates and then it lists all of the months of the year. Um, and I think that this is a great idea, but I'm gonna switch it up a little bit and use this page um, not for important dates, but for like important memories and fun things that we did that month. I think it's just a fun way to like reflect on your whole year. And once it's all filled out, I think it will be fun to go and like read back. Anything that's like small and it doesn't really have to be like big monumental things, but I think it's just a nice, space to have. So at the end of January, I'll come back in here and just kind of jot down things that I want to remember, things that made me smile throughout January, all of that. Um, but yeah, I think it is still a nice page that I'll utilize. And this is where I get into like the main baby right here. <laughs> so I love having the monthly view. This one has like notes on the side. Normally I put like video ideas for this month. Um, I love to just kind of have a brain dump. Um, that way I can kind of just jot down video ideas, things that I'm thinking of in the moment. It's just nice to have a space dedicated to that. Um, and then this is kind of where I'll plan out the month. I don't really put um, like day-to-day -day tasks because I do that on my computer, which I can show you guys later. This is just like important appointments that month or like bills, payments, things that need to be made. Um, I love putting those here. what my monthly overview will look like. I have a little key right here. All of the kind of like magenta light purple things are like any payments or bills that we have coming up. And then anything in blue is like appointments. So I only have a couple things right now. I will add like um, our date nights um, and game nights and like friend outings under appointments as well, just because obviously they're not appointments, but it's just nice to kind of keep track of them that way. So I will kind of loop those in together. And then all of the dark purple here is my YouTube schedule. So I kind of just do it week by week. I just, I don't know, it can kind of get repetitive. And for this video, I thought I would just show you this week. Um, but I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. Uh, so subscribe so you don't miss a video. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of my schedule. So that will obviously fall through the whole month. Um, but that's kind of it. That's all that I'll do. Uh, again, I'll have some video ideas here. And then we can move on to the next page. And this is where we jump into weekly and daily things. And I absolutely love this page. This is my favorite because again, I really structure it. I don't put my daily tasks here. I will use this as my gratitude journal. as my gratitude journal. I love the concept of a gratitude journal, but I just don't want to have two like notebooks and planners and a journal and a this. I like to kind of keep it all in one just so that when I reflect on the year, I can see it all in one place. So each night I come in here and I'll write just a nice reflection of things that make me feel good that day, what I'm thankful for. Um, just kind of a place to just like let it all out. I love that. And then in this little note section, I love to do like a little quote. So this month in January, I'm working really hard on my health and on my fitness. So I have a nice little quote here that I'm gonna write in the note section. Okay, so the mantra that I chose to put down is I am strong, I am capable, I can achieve. And that sounds so cheesy and silly, but it's something that I've been saying to myself when I'm trying to get through a hard workout or when I don't wanna to go to the gym altogether. It just helps to see this every day and get really inspired and motivated. So I use this as my gratitude and I will do this weekly. So at the end of the week, I'll turn a new leaf 
and write something else. And it's kind of fun to switch through like gratitude and then this could be like mood tracker or something like that. And you could just have two. You can kind of customize it however you could keep it all gratitude. Uh, whatever works for you, I find that this has just been like a nice way to reflect. And me and Sebastian really do love journaling. So um, yeah, that's kind of an example what I'll do. And yeah, between these two pages, this is kind of all I'll use and this will follow through each month and each week, of course, with the gratitude journal and everything like that. It will differ between each month. Um, but that's kind of like an overview of how I like to organize my paper planner. Now I can show you on my desktop the program that I use to plan out like my daily tasks, um, mine and Sebastian's monthly goals, my YouTube stuff, all of that. Um, so we'll dive into that now. So this is the program that that I use it's called Evernote I can have it linked below it is a free program which I love um, and it's just the best way to plan like daily tasks and if you are someone who likes to plan on um, a computer or an app or something like that this is definitely for you it saves automatically like a Google Doc would it's so easy to customize and just make it your own they have so many different templates um, I can show you here you can just create a new note and there's templates for yearly annual weekly daily planner a budget um, planner anything like that there's so many fun templates that I love um, but I use it for a couple of things so my first one is my YouTube schedule so I just have a big title here and then a key as well um, anything highlighted in pink is going to be videos to upload anything highlighted in yellow is going to be videos to film and then the grayed out areas are days that I've completed so you can see I have like things mapped out of like a video that went up on Wednesday all of my Wellness Wednesday series, that's all um, kind of scheduled out. Um, the next video I have to have coming up, just like my Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, all of my videos will be here. Um, and then I'll also put in the days, that's a little checklist that I love to film um, any videos. So I already filmed the plan with me, which is what you guys are watching now. I have a day in the life coming up, just that sort of thing. And video ideas that I put into my busy bee calendar, I will throw into here at the start of each week. So I'll kind of know like what video is going to come next, what I need to plan for. So I look at this every day and it's so helpful um, just to have it like on a big screen. I use a computer every single day uh, so it just helps me to have it here and then I also have my daily tasks this one I find that changes a little bit sometimes I don't do it um, I'm not too like strict about this just because it's kind of hard to like map out every single hour but I do know that I'm way more productive when I do it this way rather than not plan anything at all so I think it's just nice to like have grace with yourself and know that things will shift and move around but as long as you have the intention of mapping things out I think that's what what's most important so I look at those two calendars the most um, just because I like to kind of schedule out uh, when I'm at work and when I come home and when I can film and stuff that I just have to get done. The next note that I have is right here. Um, this is mine and Sebastian's goal tracker and things that we have. I'm not going to click into this one just because it is very like intimate and personal to us, but this is where we um, schedule out any of our financial meetings, date nights, stuff like that. We keep it in our calendar for both him and I to see and edit and change things around. It's just nice to have like a conjoined um, calendar that we can both access. And then this last one here is my 2020 goals. Again, I won't uh, hit into that just because again, they are just like personal goals for myself. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys that yeah, this is all filled out. It's fun to look at that each month. I also do like a check in system um, at the end of each month, I will check in and just kind of write the things that I've accomplished the, the goals that I've been able to tick off. And it's just fun to see it that way. Um, so that is how I like kind of schedule allow all of these three notes. Um, again, this program, I love it so much. It's so fun to kind of have like two different versions, something on my computer that's easy to look at. I look at it every single day. So it just makes sense. And then um, to have the written planner one as well, just to kind of keep me organized on like a monthly schedule and also like my gratitude journal. So that is Evernote. Again, I will leave that down below. It's free. You guys can check it out. Again, it's 
definitely been one of mine and Sebastian's favorite new tools to track any of our goals. So that is how I personally like to track any of my goals, my daily tasks, monthly appointments, stuff like that. Those are the two methods that I found that work best for me and that I really do enjoy. I will come into my office every single night and just kind of map out the next day, fill out my daily tasks, write in my gratitude journal, anything like that. Um, I do it the night before so that in the morning when I check on it, I know exactly what I need to do and what needs to get done. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped give you some ideas of how to organize your life and keep track of things because I think it's really fun at the end of the year to go back and kind of see what you did that year. I love doing that and I love holding on to my planners. I have last year's in my closet there just because it's nice to have and just see what you've done in your life. I think it's really cool. So don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!